Her food is a big oh. hit. They smell beautiful. Do you have a fork so that I can attack this beef thing with? I've got a chainsaw out the back. But will Anne cope with the pressure of the shark tank? Sorry, <laughs> I was not going to cry. Hi there, my name is Anne Barclay and this is my business, Simply Moorish Marinates. I'm asking for $80,000 to invest for 20% of the company and this is to assist me to get it into the supermarkets. Um, Simply Moorish Marinades was born through me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. No, you do, you're good. <sighs> That's OK, deep breath. <laughs> Simply Moorish Marinades was, it came to life through my love of food and cooking. Um, I would attend a lot of my friends' and family's parties and uh, it got such a great feedback that I thought, well, OK, maybe I need to do something about it. So currently I'm selling it in bulk to a fantastic new place in Adelaide called The Published Art House. Um, also recently I have just spoken with one of the independent um, supermarkets in South Australia and they've decided that they'll put it on all 25 stores on their shelves. And um, I hope um, you understand my passion and once you taste it, understand what the Simply Moorish Marinade range is all about. Okay. Let's get into it. Well Thank you, Anne. So $80,000 for 20%. Yeah, okay. if you'd love to come up and yes, sure. you're hungry. It's... Okay, so that's an American rib. Oh, <laughs> hello, hello. That's a smoky barbecue oh. on beef. <laughs> and okay. finally... Last but not least, roll the drums. Oi. This is the traditional yakitori sauce. They smell beautiful. Yakitori. Yep. Very Japanese. How okay, good this restaurant, eh? <laughs> Could you get any more on your plate? <laughs> Would you like a wheelbarrow, mate? <laughs> Do you, do you have a fork so I can attack this beef thing with? I've got right. a chainsaw out the back. <laughs> beef. A bit might be handy, actually. <laughs> Really nice. And what do your sales look like at the moment? I, over the last 12 months, sold $2,800 worth. Um, and I also made a profit of $1,400. And what does it cost you to make? Uh, $2.25. I was selling them onto the butchers for $4.25. You're making a couple of dollars, but realistically, if you're adding your wage or someone else's into it, well, that could come down to almost none. How much did you put into this business? Um, savings, I've put 30000 into it. $30,000 of your own money. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your manufacturing process. <laughs> Currently, it's in my house. <laughs> How are you going to cope with producing all of the volume that's going to be required? Possibly using another manufacturer to, to produce it. So contract production? Yeah. And you've got a trademark? Um, no. And you know that there's another company out there that's actually got a trademark pending with, with the name Moorish. Is there? Yeah. I've registered the uh, name. It's pending, so they're, they're obviously before you if you haven't registered. Oh, no, it, the name's registered. Yeah, but is it trademarked? So you can have a company registered as a name, which is different than a trademark. Right, yeah, no, I don't think I went down the trademark. If you're going into Independence 25 stores, that yeah. person who's got that trademark will come and say, you're using my name. Right. And they can actually then okay. sue you. I, I was just under the assumption that having um, the Australian business name Protects registered... you? No. OK. Oh. An investment is about return. Mm -hmm. So at what point do you think you're going to return the investment to the shark? Um, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> about that. If I get a shark to invest in me, potentially it could just take off. You need and a really good answer when someone asks you, an investor, a potential investor asks you how they're going to get their money back. Not being able to answer that is really bad. I enjoyed it, but I'm out. OK, thank you. My concern is that it is a cluttered space. At the moment, you can eyeball the butcher and he says, oh, yeah, love, I'll give it a go. And it's all about personal relationship. Mm -hmm. But to scale a business, that often gets lost when you start to talking with buyers. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that you're getting repeat orders. That mm -hmm. speaks well for you. Yeah. But at this point, it's not an investment for me, okay. so I'm out. OK, great, thank you. It seems to me that you need to be 
in partnership rather than looking for an investment with people who can produce that product at the standard you want them to do, with yeah. you being the sort of creative chef, if you like. From an investment point of yeah. view, I'm out. OK. Thank you. Because it's such a crowded market and because right now the margins are very, very skinny, uh, congratulations on where you've come to date. But in terms of investing for me, yep. I'm out. OK, thank you. Janine? You've got great passion for your food. You can I just have. see it. You just, you know that you love it and just how you talk about it. You know, you can see that it's something that is just sort of part of you. Yeah. Um, it's not a business yet. I would be looking at working out your systems, how it all works, starting to get revenue in, you know, learning what the consumer wants yep. and then go from there. The, the food was amazing. Thank you. But I'm out. OK. Thank you. And before good... you go, you look very nervous, <laughs> which is understandable. Yeah, You've no. done a great job. Yeah. To do this product... You did a really, really good job today. Thank you. I can see that you're emotional. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, don't apologise. I'm not going to cry. See, no, no, no. A... See today is a win. That's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I realise it's very, very early stages, but I just thought, well, give it a go. Well, well done. See you. you. Thank you very much. Thank there you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye bye. She was just so nervous and emotional from the minute she stepped on. She's far more tuned than I am. I just thought, what are you talking about? And then she started no, crying. No, she'd been at that point for yeah. almost the whole thing. I'll keep going, regardless, regardless. And yeah, it's, it's early stages.